Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a full factory restore of a compact computer, whether that be a desktop or a laptop. Um, compact is actually owned by HP, Hewlett Packard, and Hewlett Packard bought out Compact I think like early 2000s. And um, so this actually method will work on all HP computers as well. Um, you may want to restore your factory settings, um, put it in new state because you know you'd want to resell it or maybe you bought it you want to make sure there's nothing on it um, you may want to just speed it up get rid of a whole bunch of files that you have on there and just destroy them and then just put them on you um, you may got a, a Trojan horse or a virus or one of those fake FBI warnings and you just want to get rid of that um, you're going to basically access, accessing your operating system, whether that be Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 8, Vista, on your hard drive itself. And that's, they started putting the operating system on the hard drive, and this is what a hard drive looks like. This is a SATA, which is in most newer computers, last five to seven years. And of course there are SSD drives, which are faster and smaller and all that. Um, if you've got an older computer like an XP or Vista, most likely it, you won't have the operating system on your partition. And in that, if that's the case, you'll need an actual hard DVD disc to restore everything. Um, and of course, that's what a DVD looks like. So, the reason they started doing that, putting the operating system on the uh, hard drive, is, order, is to, in order to avoid uh, pirating, because people were using DVDs and discs and putting them on multiple computers that didn't actually have that license. Um, so, on a compact, it's pretty easy. You want to make sure you got it plugged up. It takes about 30 minutes to do. And when you turn on the computer, what you're going to do is you're going to tap the F11 button as soon as you hear it come on. And you can actually actually hold down the F11 button uh, as well as, as tap it. Again, F11. Frank, F and Frank 11. Alright, so let's go ahead and try it. Turn it on. As soon as we hear it, F11. And it's going to say System Recovery. Windows is loading files. So that's pretty quick. It only took one time. Sometimes some computers are more stubborn than others. You might have to try it five or ten times in order to access it. For whatever reason, if you know it's if it's a newer computer and it's giving you fits and you had problems with your hard drive, your operating system freezing and all that. You might just have a bad hard drive, and if that's the case, you'll need to, to buy a new hard drive and uh, acquire a DVD for your particular license, uh, DVD, Windows DVD. All right, it says, it gives us three options. I need help immediately. Microsoft System Restore. You could restore it to another date, like a month ago, uh, you know, if you have like a Trojan horse or something. System Recovery, that's what we're going to choose. So let's go ahead and choose System Recovery. Uh, it says restore your computer to out of box state. That's just like you bought it at the store. And keep in mind when you do this, it's going to delete all your files. So it's going to delete all your videos, all your music, all your pictures. So I recommend you go ahead, if you have anything on there, go ahead and save, if you can access it, access your computer, try to save all your stuff. You can put it like on a USB memory disk. Um, this is only like 15 bucks at Walgreens. You know, you can get them online or you can get them at Walmart or whatever. Um, and you, go to, you can just drag all your stuff to that. All right, so we're going to choose. It says back up your files. I mean, you could try that if you want to keep your files, or recover without being backing up. That's what I'm going to choose. And choose next. All devices should be disconnected from the PC except the keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Failure to disconnect the device may uh, result in recovery to fail. Okay. All right, so. From there, this is giving me a warning because I don't have it plugged in. You got to have it plugged in, but uh, I'm going to stop from there. That's all you have to do in order to um, recover your compact laptop. And um, if you have any questions or problems, 
just leave a comment in the uh, in the um, comment section. All right, thanks for watching.